little message now that says we are going to record. Okay. A very warm welcome to all of you who have been accepted into our music programs. Most of you are in the foundation program and a couple of you are in the main uh, three-year degree. We are very happy to have you in our programs and we look forward to journeying with you as you begin your musical careers formally. Today's meeting is just an introduction to our program and what to expect, especially because most of it is going to be online from an academic perspective, but also what you need to apply for to be able to get onto campus for your music lessons. And we'll talk a little bit about that just now. Let me start with sharing my screen. I've got a little PowerPoint presentation for us. Let's just get this going. If you can please mute yourselves for the meantime, unless you want to ask a question. AJ, it looks like... Sorry, you've just unmute. Can you just unmute yourself again? It looks like Lutando okay. has not muted himself. Or oh, I think I'm he just, just has now. Okay. Thank you. All right. So firstly, to welcome you, I uh, am the program coordinator for the foundation program. My name is Andrew John Bethka, or you can call me Dr. AJ if you like. Our program administrator is Londiwe Shezi, and I'm going to introduce you to her now. Let me just stop sharing. Londiwe, can you just put on your video camera so that they can see who you are? And just say hello so that your screen comes up. Hi, everyone. There's Londiwe. Some of you have spoken to Londiwe on the phone already. Uh, either, either you've spoken to me or you've spoken to Londiwe. She is our administrator. And so anything that has to do with the administration of the course, she assists me with that. And she's been super through all this time. So I give her a round of applause for all that she has done to make sure that all of you are registered and that we have all of your records up to date. Thank you, Londiwe. All right, now let's go back to our program. Right. Now, whether you are doing the foundation program or whether you are doing the three-year degree, our degrees are structured according to five genres. The first genre is African music and dance. And most of you who have been accepted this year are in that program. The leader of that program is Patricia Opondo, and I'm going to introduce you to her just now once I've gone through all of these. The next category is jazz. That is led by Demi Fernandez. Then we have opera. Lionel Makonazi deals with that, and we have a few opera students this year. Then a lot of you are pop voice students. Debbie Mari coordinates that program. And then Western classical music is led by Andrew Warburton. So I'm going to introduce you to each of those coordinators so you can see who they are. And then we'll see how many of you are from African music and dance and jazz and opera, pop and Western classical and so forth. So um, can I ask now, Patricia, could you just unmute yourself and put your camera on so that everybody who is from AMD can see who you are and hear your voice? Can't quite see. Hello, hey. Sambona. <laughs> Welcome. Um, my name is Patricia or Dr. Pondo to you. Uh, we're trying to organize everything for you so we get started as soon as possible. Um, you might hear from Lebo um, and he'll send you the link to join our WhatsApp group. Um, but you can get it from each other as well. Because so far we only have um, a few, I think seven of you. But welcome and looking forward to getting started. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. And I 
And I just have- Thank you so much. For those of you who are in AMD, can you go down to the bottom of your screen and find reactions and just uh, put a thumbs up so that we can see like this, so that we can see if you are in AMD. Give us a thumbs up if you are in AMD. I see a couple of you coming up there. Who else is there? I'm sure there are more of you. There are at least seven or eight of you. See if you can find the little emoticon at the bottom. Yes, there we go. Zotani is there. Okay. I'm sure as you get more and more used to Zoom, you'll be able to start using these things. And you will become used to Zoom because you're going to have all of your classes with me and Debbie on Zoom. So uh, you'll get used to that. All right, then uh, Demi, can you unmute yourself and put your camera on so that we can see who you are? Demi is the leader of the jazz section. Hi, everyone. <laughs> well, there's three jazz guys. It's uh, Debbie. Uh, Neil and myself. <clears throat> uh, Debbie and, and Neil can also just unmute themselves and let us. Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm De Debbie. And I'm Neil. Thank you to all the jazz people for introducing themselves. Debbie de deals with uh, jazz vocals. Neil deals with uh, jazz piano. And if you are doing jazz, you will inter uh, interact with all three of them at some point. How many of you here are doing jazz? Just to see if you can find the reactions and do a thumbs up so we can see who's doing jazz. There we go, Sina Temba, Lutando, Magashule. Thank you. Nice to see you all. Welcome to our meeting. Thank you. Then uh, we have opera. And the lead of opera is Lionel Makonazi. Um, are you here, Lionel? I think you are. Yes, he is. Great. Lionel, can you unmute yourself and introduce yourself quickly to us for the opera students who are here? I think he's actually not having... It looks like he hasn't got sound. Okay, we'll come back to Lionel a little bit later. Okay, Lionel is there, but when his sound comes, we will introduce you to him. Then let's see if... Debbie, you've already introduced yourself. Debbie coordinates the Pop Voice program. You've seen her already. If you've got... Uh, yeah, there's Debbie again. Let's just say hi to Debbie. And if you are a Pop Voice student, just put a thumbs up, then we can see. I can't actually see who's putting their hands up, but it would be helpful if it was anybody other than Ziboyile, Mobile, Zamambo, Sandile, and Sam Kelisiwe. Those are the registered names that I have of students who, who have already or registered who are doing Pop Voice. Is there anybody else that's also registered for Pop Voice whose name I didn't read out? Maybe you can just unmute yourself so you can say your name. I've got a few more for you as well who have registered in the last day, which I can pass on to you. I'll give you the updated list later. Today. Okay. Thanks. Can I just make a, just a quick general announcement for the Pop Voice students? And that is that AJ has already let you know that I actually teach jazz voice in the program, but our two Pop Voice teachers who are not here today are actually on our part-time staff. So you will meet them very soon, Slindo Zondo and Lisle Ngidi. So I will be sending you a message in the next couple of days to let you know who your pop voice teacher will be. I have all your, your um, contact details already from AJ. So in the next couple of days, please just look out for a WhatsApp from me 
so that I will give you the contact details either for Slindor or for Leithle, depending on who your teacher is going to be. And then another important announcement for Pop Voice students is besides your voice or your singing class with Slindor or Leithle, you are also required to attend the Pop Voice Ensemble. So that's a group singing class. And that class is taught by Mbuso Mumalo. And I will also give you the contact details for Mbuso. And you need to get in touch with Mbuso in the next couple of days, as soon as I've given you their contact details, because those classes will both be starting either this week or next week. So, it, so you should be in two classes that you are singing pop voice and pop voice ensemble. Yes, in fact, I'm going to deal with that a little bit later about how the subjects work so that everybody knows what they need to be in and if they're not in something so that, that we can resolve those issues. So thanks for bringing that up, Debbie. It's on our- And can I just ask one more question? Sorry, Yes. just before we move on. Are there, are there any students here who, who are doing jazz voice or who think that they, that they should be doing jazz voice and not pop voice? We are looking for Rutando Mbiko. We're looking for Blessing Mkila and Nondamiso Mtetwa, particularly. I'm not sure if either of those two have registered. Who was the person that you just said, AJ? Uh, just to say that those two people have registered. I've been trying to get right. them today, but they've not been re responding. Um, then somebody here called Lutando Mbiko. Uh, but we'll follow up on that after the meeting. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay. thank you. Sure. All right, then I think, Lionel, uh, I think you've got your sound now. Are you able to hear us, Lionel? Doesn't sound like it. Okay, we'll come. Hello. Ah, hi, Lionel. Can you introduce Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you nicely. Uh, yes, I've been trying. I've been. I've been having some problems, but now yes, I I'm so. back. We're very yes. happy to have you here. Uh, can you just introduce yourself briefly to the opera students, and maybe if you've got your camera, if they can see who you are, so they know who they're dealing with. Okay. Okay. Let me. There we go. Yes. Uh. Yeah, my name is Lionel Mukonazi. I will be teaching all those who are registered for classical, or specifically who are doing opera. I will be teaching you voice. Uh, there's also other, uh, other two teachers who, who, who are going to be teaching you, um, Slindo Gushle and uh, Wayne Mkize. Yeah. Thank you very much, Lionel. You're welcome. All right, so those are the people who you will be dealing with in your different streams. I'm just putting up the streams again so that you can see them. African music and dance, jazz, opera, pop voice, and Western classical. All right, now, most of you are in the Bachelor of Art in Music Foundation program, which is four years. A couple of you are in the Bachelor of Art in Music, which is just three years. Um, the decision about which program you've been put on is based on a number of things, which I'm not going to go on into now, but there are slightly different structures for these programs. So I'm going to tell you what to expect from them and, and which subjects you need to be in for them. In the foundation program, you will be having four subjects per semester. The first is uh, foundational practical studies, foundational performance skills, then introduction to music fundamentals and introduction to English and literature, uh, academic English and literature. Those are the four subjects that all of you who are registered so far have been uh, um, enrolled for. And those of you who are still in the registration process, those are the four subjects that you need to have. If you haven't registered yet, it will look like you're actually registering for eight subjects because you'll see that they are foundational practical studies A and B. 
A is for the first half of the year, B is for the second half of the year. We split the year into two semesters. Uh, at school, you used to have four terms. At university, we just have two semesters. The first semester runs till about June, and the second semester goes until about November. Okay, so the A version of the course is in the first semester, the B version of the course is in the second semester. You have to pass A to get into B. For those of you who are doing the Bachelor of Art in Music, so those of you who are not in foundation, you have a slightly more complex uh, subject choice to make. And it will, your choices will be, depend on a number of things. So if you are doing that BA in music without the foundation, you need to be in contact with me so that I can guide you through that process. On the screen now is a link which uh, gives you the structure of the course, uh, but I will take you through that step by step so that we can ensure that you are registering for the right subjects. For those, so those of you who are registering for the BA in music, you must speak to me before you finish your registration, okay? Uh, I've spoken to a couple of you already on WhatsApp, but for those of you who haven't, you need to chat with me. All right, now the important thing here is you will have noticed that each of your modules is worth 16 credits. Now, most people don't even know what that actually means, but each credit is equal to or equivalent to 10 hours of work. So each of your modules represents 160 hours of work. That's a huge amount of work. Over the whole semester, that means that you are meant to be putting two hours per weekday for each module. So you're registered for four modules per semester, each of them two hours per day. That's eight hours every day that you should be dedicating to your studies. Two hours each day for each of these subjects. Okay, That's what is expected of you, and that is how the courses are designed to be um, worked through. So if you're not putting those two hours in every day, it's likely that you're not getting the full impact of the course that you are doing. This is particularly true for the subjects that you are taking that are practical subjects. Those are the instruments that you play or your vocals. They all require lots of practice. And if you're going to be a musician, a lot of your time is spent practicing your instrument or your voice. Now, what are these subjects like? So the first subject that you saw was practical studies or foundational practical studies. Practical studies uh, revolves around your individual music lessons. And when everybody who is a coordinator of the programs was introducing themselves, they were talking about your music teachers and then the, the, your music teachers being in contact with you. So each of you will have a music teacher and you will have an individual music lesson every week, okay? Those program coordinators will be in contact with you about your music lessons. They may already have been in contact with you about those. Um, if you haven't had uh, contact from them yet, let me know and I'll put them in contact with you so that uh, we can organize those practical studies, okay? So that's the first uh, subject that has a practical component. That means where you'll be using your instrument or your voice. There is a second uh, subject that also requires your instrument, and that's called performance skills. And depending on your genre, you will be organized in, uh, into groups for usually for this kind of module. And there are different aspects of it depending on which subject you take. So for example, if you're doing jazz, uh, part of your performance skills will be something called improvisation and learning improvisation. Your uh, genre coordinator will be in contact with you about that and when and where you will be doing those lessons. So for jazz, for example, Demi will be in contact with you about which uh, ensemble you are part of and, and when you will do something like improvisation. If you're doing opera, for example, Lionel will be in contact with you about which group you'll need to be singing in for that aspect of your studies. If you're doing AMD, 
Patricia, Dr. Opondo will be in, the, uh, in contact with you and so on, okay? So there are two subjects that require your voice or your instrument. Practical studies, that's more on the individual side. And then performance skills, which is more uh, oriented towards groups and also specific skills. Uh, and you will be introduced to those as you go through the, the year. Okay. If you're doing African music and dance, these two modules work slightly differently because a lot of your performance is in the group already, but that will be dealt with with your uh, coordinators. Okay, if you haven't heard about this by the end of the week or the beginning of next week, uh, or if you haven't heard from your program coordinator, then just let me know and I will try and organize that for you. Then you have a subject called Introduction to Music Fundamentals that you will have with me. I teach that and you've already been put into a WhatsApp group for that, so you should know about that already. Our classes are at 2 p.m. on every Thursday and you'll have a Zoom class for that, but you also have work that you will be assigned on the WhatsApp group. So it's very important that you are part of the WhatsApp group. And then we also have introduction to academic in English and literature that uh, I co-teach with Debbie. You've already met Debbie. And that is about writing and critical thinking skills, which will be very important for you as you progress through your degree. Uh, you should already have been put into the WhatsApp group. If you haven't, then you need to be in contact with me. And our classes are Wednesdays, 2 p.m. Uh, with Zoom as well. For those of you who are not in the foundation, you will have other subjects besides those ones. You will have practical studies and performance skills, but you'll also have some language modules, um, ACLE, but I'll talk to you very specifically about that if you are doing the, the three-year degree. And then music theory and perception one, which has a WhatsApp group. If you haven't been put into that WhatsApp group, you need to speak to me very urgently so that we can get you into that uh, so that uh, the, the lecturer in, in that course can get you going. Again, if you're in the three-year BA degree, you must be in contact with me soon so that we can get these uh, subjects sorted out for you. Okay. Right. Now, I want to introduce you to a very important learning platform, which we'll be using quite a lot specifically in the Introduction to Music Fundamentals module. If you're doing the three-year degree, you'll also be using uh, this for your theory modules and for your English modules. And we'll also use it for Introduction to Academic English and Literature. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen for a minute, and I want to show you how to get on to learn if you haven't already. Now, I've, I've said on the WhatsApp group, that one of your tasks for this week is to experiment getting onto there. Has anybody so far been able to get onto the Learn website? How many of you have tried and how many of you have succeeded in getting onto the Learn website? Just put up your hand if you have. I see, yeah, some of you have. Good. Okay, at least four. Good. Fantastic. All right. So for those of you who haven't managed to get on yet, the first important thing is that you won't be able to get onto it until you are fully registered. So if you've gone through the registration process and you have a hold on your account, either for financial reasons or because of documents that are outstanding, you won't be able to get onto Learn yet. If that is the case, you need to be in contact with me and I'll send you the materials that you need through WhatsApp. Okay, that's important. We don't want you to get behind now because you can't get onto these platforms. But I can send you all of that through WhatsApp in the meantime. Okay, let me share the screen with you now to show you how to get on to learn if you haven't been on to that yet. Uh, You have to write learn, UKZN learn, UKZN learn 2022 into Google. And you'll come up with this website. You 
click onto it and you will come up with this page over here. you'll see learn 2022 it's very important that you put 2022 because there is also a learn 2021 and that won't help you you put in your student number here okay i'm putting a staff i have a slightly different thing from what you would have but you put your student number here and your password and you log in when you log in you'll need to go into this section here my courses and you'll see there all of the courses that you are registered for Okay. Now, the important thing is that your practical subjects, practical studies and performance skills are not going to be on this website because they are individual subjects and group subjects which require you to use your voice and your instrument. The subjects that you'll find here are related to your academic work, so the, the theory of music and English work. So if I click on here, for example, it comes up with introduction to music fundamentals, and all of the stuff that we will be doing through the semester is there, okay? All of the videos, all of the worksheets, all of the textbooks and everything, okay? Um, so for example, here is your textbook. If you click onto that, it will download and you'll have your textbook, okay? Uh, I've already asked you if you can please download that textbook and also your oral exercises. So they're all of your oral exercises, okay? Very soon, uh, in the next week or so, this textbook is going to be available for you in Zulu. So if you are Zulu speaking and you want the textbook in Zulu, it will very soon be available for you in your mother tongue. Other things there you'll find are very helpful, websites, manuscript paper, and other textbooks. Okay, so that's how LEARN works. If you haven't accessed LEARN yet, it is important that you do so in the next day or so, so that you can start getting used to how it works. All right. I see that there are two hands up here. Are, are those hands... Uh, Temaletu and Sina Temba there, if, are you wanting to ask questions or are you showing that you have used Zoom? If you are showing that you are using Zoom, can you just take your hand down? You do that by going to reactions and you'll see there that you can lower your hand. <coughs> if you want to ask a question, <coughs> then just open your mic and, and you can ask. <coughs> I see you've taken your hands down, okay. <clears throat> Let's go back to our PowerPoint. Now, the other important thing is, as music students, you will have privileged access to the university campus. Most students are not allowed onto the campus, but because of the nature of the study that we do, you will need to be able to interact with your, your vocal teacher or your instrumental teacher. And for this purpose, you need to apply for an access permit. Out of interest now, how many of you have already tried to apply for an access permit? If you have, put up your hand, let's see. Okay, we've got at least one, two, three, four, great. Now here's a five, good. I'm going to show you a way of accessing this permit. But if those of you who have uh, applied for the permit have done it a different way, I would be very grateful for you to show me how you do that. Okay, so I'm gonna first show you how I did it and then we'll see if there is a different way. So the first thing that you need to do, and I'm gonna share the screen now for you. Just tell me if you can all see uh, my shared screen. You should see a University of KwaZulu-Natal logon page. Can you see that? Yes, yes, yes. Good. Okay, to get to this point, you need to, if you look here in the dress line, you write forms.ukzn.ac.za. Forms.ukzn.ac dot z a and then you put your username this that will be your your um, student number so you put your student number in there again i have a slightly different thing because i'm a staff member 
and you put in your login code. <clears throat> now your screen will look a little bit different to mine, but you should find something that says here, student access form. Do you see that over there? You'll click onto that and follow all of the prompts. Okay, and it should then apply for a form. It takes about four or five hours for that uh, permit to be issued. Okay, so you log on, you look for student access form, and then you apply. It will ask you for some of your details and what have you. Okay, just for those of you who have managed to uh, apply already, did you do it in a slightly different way? If you did, just tell us so that we can see if there are other ways of applying for that permit. So those of you who have got a permit, just tell us how you did it. You just open your mic so that we can hear you. Anybody? So you've all done it the same way, okay? If you're having difficulty applying for that permit and all of you will need it, I see that uh, Zipuyele says, I did it the same way and I got it in a minute. There you go. So it went very quickly, okay? Fantastic. Uh, maybe it takes longer for staff members. I'm not sure why, but uh, perhaps it does. So uh, there's confirmation that it works. If you need that address again, you can always uh, send me a message and I'll send you the link to get to that page where you log in and get the access permit. Here is a very, very important piece of information. You will not be able to get a permit unless you are fully registered. So for those of you who have started the registration process, but have not completed it yet because of, you're waiting for financial clearance or document clearance, you will not be allowed to come onto the campus. Okay, your, your registration has to be fully completed before you can be granted access. So staff members, those students who are waiting for whatever purpose it is, and some of the students, even though they've provided all of the documentation, it's going very, very slowly at the moment. Please don't leave them out uh, of the classes. If you can, try and make a Zoom meeting available so that they can join in some way or have some way of catching up in the meantime while we wait for those registrations to clear. In, for the most part, those students who are waiting for clearance, it's not their, not their fault. They've gone through all of the motions and Londiwe and I have tried to speed that up, but it hasn't gone through. So if you can just be aware that some people are not yet fully registered, and I'll give you a list of those staff members soon so you can see who can get access. And you also now know how to get access so you can assist them if they need it. But Generally, students, you can come to me or Londiwe, and we will assist you with that if you need help. Okay. All right, let's go back to our PowerPoint. All right, here is another very, very important point. It has become, uh, well, we've, we've learned over the years that many of you as students seem to change your, your cell phone numbers on a regular basis. And I'm sure there are many reasons for that. But here is the important point. The university has official contact details for you, all right? So the cell phone number that you provided on CAO when you applied is the number that the university has for you. And this is where it becomes important because uh, wh while we have been, uh, contacting you, we've discovered that sometimes that number that you provided is from your mother or your aunt or your uncle, and sometimes not always yours. The point is that the university is going to send all of the data that is due to you as a student to that number that you provided. So if you provided your aunt's cell phone number, the data is going to go to your aunt, not to you. All right. So it's very, very important that you update your details on a regular basis. And that means that if your, your cell phone is stolen, for example, and you get a new number and you don't do a SIM swap, then you need to tell me or Londiwe immediately so that we can get your, your details updated. You can update your details as well through the student portal on the UKZN webpage, okay? 
but it's very important that we have those details so that your number can be updated on our WhatsApp uh, groups and also so that you can get data. Okay, you can see how important that is. You all need data for your learning. Uh, and so if you don't have the right phone number, the data is gonna to go to the wrong number. Does that make sense? Okay, so if you've changed your number, you must update your details on the university's uh, system. If you don't know how to do that, please contact me or Londiwe and we will try to assist you with that. Okay. Now, we've got through everything that I had on the list. Staff members, is there anything that I've left out that you think that we need to add at this point? Maybe a word about the practice rooms. I don't have anything in particular, but just that there are practice rooms and the students have access and they can practice. Okay, very good point. Uh, one of the things that is a little bit more difficult given that we are going through the, the lockdown and uh, limited access to the campus is that I assume most of you don't have a student card yet. How many of you have got a student card? Can you just put up your hand so that I can get an idea how many of you have got a student card? Okay. So about half of you have got student cards. Can you tell me, for those of you who do have a student card, how did you apply for it and how did you get it? Just tell us how you did it. Just remember to unmute yourself so that we can hear you. Who's brave enough to tell us? Sure. Um, yes. I can bring to campus, but they needed a permit. Okay, so they'll need a permit first. Okay, and then? And they put proof of registration. Proof of registration. Where did they, where did yeah. they go to get the, the, the student card? <laughs> Inside the building on the campus. Okay. It's, I, if you are struggling to find that building, again, you come and speak to me and I will try and direct you there or on Diwe and I can try and assist you with that. If you want to practice on an instrument or if you want to practice as a vocalist and let's say you are in a residence where people are complaining because you are practicing and you want a space that is actually dedicated to practicing and you have a student card you will need a student card for this you can go down to the basement of the francis stock building where all of the music lectures will happen you'll soon find out where that is if you go through gate one that's the main entrance of howard campus and as you walk through gate one the building on your right is called the francis stock building that's where all of the music uh, department build, uh, uh, offices and rooms are in that building to get access to that building you need to have a student card once you have the student card you can go in and in the basement is a set of practice rooms most of the rooms have a piano in them and you can practice there safely and happily without having to uh, worry about the noise okay i know some of you have already written to me to say that uh, your your residence is far from the university and that people are complaining about your practicing. For those of you who are facing that, I have written letters on those students' behalf. I don't know how long it takes for them to be moved, uh, but I'm hoping that that, will be, uh, that that will be resolved soon and that you will be close to the campus so that you can access those rooms. Is there anything that I've left out about practice room staff members? And is there anything else that I need to add? Sanela, you want to say something? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, the last Sunday, I lost my phone. Then I lost contact with my lecture record. I don't okay. know how to get his number. Please. I will send you his number. OK, thank you. Sir. Just send me a reminder so that I can get you going with that, OK? 
authority. Anything else? That, are there any um, questions that anybody would like to ask at this time? Any questions that need clarification or anything that you need advice on or some help with? Say. Yes. Uh, I, I, I learned right now to go to the campus. You can go onto the campus if you have the permit. If you've got a permit, you will be allowed onto campus. All right, I have. Good, then you should be able to go. Just take sure, make sure that you've got your student card and your, and your permit, and they should give you access to campus. Then I've got, okay, I can't hear you, Zibu Yile. Perhaps, perhaps if you can put um, your question into the chat box. Oh, I see there's some things there. All right, Zibu Yile. I did it the same way. Magosh, when are we getting data? And you've been using your own data. When did you register? You registered quite some time back, didn't you? That's Magashule that I'm speaking to. That's Tatelo, is it Tatelo? No. Um, yes, sir, it's Tatelo. Yeah, okay. I thought I had it right, but I couldn't remember exactly. Okay. Um, you registered about a week ago, didn't you? Yes, it's about a week ago. Okay, I, I haven't received the data. You haven't, and you haven't changed your number. Um, no, sir. Londiwe, are you still here? Just let me check with our, our administrator. Yes, and I'm sorry. Could you see if you can find out uh, what the processes are with the with the data rollout? When I last checked last week, they said every week it rolls out. Uh, every Friday they roll out the next uh, batch of people who have registered. Um, could you do a follow up to see if that is correct? And then could you also follow up to see? What happens if a student hasn't received data so that we can get back to students about that? Okay. No problem. Thank you. Um, Sandile Dube, I see that you're saying you haven't been allocated a res. Are you still here, Sandile? I'm coming. I see that two of you have got your hands up. I'll come back to you now. In terms of res, I am certainly not the expert to assist you with that. And I think there is an office that deals directly with residence issues. Um, we'll have to find out about that for you. Londiwe, could you make a, a note? Can we try and find out how students uh, secure a res? Um, many of them were offered a firm offer with res. So we just need to work out how that works and how they get their their residence sorted out. Thank you, Londiwe. Um, I see that Obile, I got a firm off of the res, but I can't register for it. All right, we'll, we'll have a look at that just now. Zibuile, if you are doing practical voice, can you also do an instrument? Uh, if you are doing uh, Zibu Yile, are you doing pop voice? Let me just check here. You're doing pop. Um, we will check, uh, usually, if you're doing opera or um, jazz, you would do keyboard studies at some point. So you'd learn a little bit about playing on the piano or on a keyboard. But I'm not sure about pop students. Debbie, do they do uh, keyboard at all? The pop voice students are allowed to do keyboard tech. Okay. Um, I'll have to have to just get back to them individually about whether they're going to do 
the classical version or the jazz stroke contemporary version, which is what we're hoping that they will do, but that has not been confirmed. But they can do it if they are doing pop voice. So uh, in the classical uh, setup, usually the keyboard studies only begins in your second year. So uh, in, in your first year, you're just going to concentrate primarily on, on your voice if you're a singer. I'm not sure if that's the same with jazz, and I'm not sure if it's the same with pop, but I suspect it probably will be something like that. So just keep, uh, keep your mind open for that and uh, keep asking. Debbie would be the person to speak to uh, about that. Okay, Zibu Yile, I think that answers your question. Uh, Paradise, the lecturer that teaches African dance and music, I will send that to you uh, just now, okay? Am I sending that to Paradise or to the other? Uh, I come, sorry, I'm, to you. All right. Um, once you've sent us your details, have you have you sent me a message yet on my cell phone? I already sent a message. Okay, then I will. Oh, I see. I've got it here. Can you see it? Um, I will put you in contact with Dr. Opondo. Oh, thanks. Let's just wait for the end of the meeting, and then Lutando, you're asking, does Londiwe work in administration? She is an administrator and she works in the music department. So she is based in, in the music department with us. She works alongside me. And together we try and keep everything in administration together for this program. So if you have questions about that, you can direct them to Londiwe or to me and I will put, put you in contact with her. Um, she deals with email. So if you need to get hold of her, I will give you her email address. Okay. Are there any further questions before we finish our meeting? Okay, so can you share uh, Lundwe's number? Uh, I'm not gonna share her number, but I can give you her email address. I'll put it into the, the box so that everybody has got it. Okay, thank you. Uh, do we just make sure that I've got that right, please? I think I've got it right. Yes, it's right. Okay, so her email address is now in the chat box. Um, somebody else? Hi, Andrew. Yes, go ahead. Okay, so uh, for the jazz students, uh, we're going to start the, the prex this week already. Uh, I think the pianists have got all of Sbu for the classes. Uh, the improvisation class will be on Thursday at 1 p.m. Uh, I think they need to come. The first years will be at uh, 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. but they're not these students that are here. If they can, uh, I would suggest if they can come before that, around about uh, 12 o'clock or so, because uh, they'll also have to get an ensemble time from uh, from uh, Mashiluani, from Sbu. Okay. Okay. But, so you uh, want them to be there by 12? Yeah. Uh, they can come and see me uh, on the Frank Francis Talk. I'm on the first floor. Um, I think they've got my number. You can always just call me. Um, otherwise, I wonder, Sbu, I'll see you here as well. Shall we make a time to meet them downstairs? Hi, Demi. Yeah, um, I think uh, 11 is better. You can meet them at 11 because I remember 11. To love. Yeah, 11 is much better. Uh, 10 to 11. Okay. All right, so can uh, the jazz students, can they meet at 11 in the foyer in Francis Stock Building on Thursday? Yeah. And just a reminder to all the students, this is only for the jazz students, okay? Yes. The foyer of the Francis Stock Building, just be careful, if you haven't been to Francis Stock before, there are two foyers. One is for the Deputy Vice Chancellor, you don't want to be there, okay? 
The other one, you, you'll see there's like a music sign and it says music department. That's where you have to be. Okay, so look for the music department and that entrance foyer is where they'll meet you. Thanks, Demi. Okay. Uh, is there anything else that we need to discuss at this point? If you have any questions, any further questions about your subjects or about your lessons or about any of the other subjects, you are welcome to ask me on WhatsApp. A reminder that uh, English, you have your first English class tomorrow at two o'clock through Zoom. And on Thursday, you have your first theory class or fundamentals class also at two o'clock through Zoom. Okay, I've sent you those links already. Uh, if you need them, you can ask for them at any time and I will provide them for you. Okay. Thank you for your time, everybody. And I look forward to working with you during the year. Wishing you everything of the best and we'll see you soon. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.